here we are. We've got the uh, carburetor and the intake all assembled. Got the throttle shaft linkage hooked up to the governor arm. I've got some new clips installed here. Yours are probably shot if they haven't been touched. And then on the opposite side, I've got the spring hooked to the location that this was installed on my unit here. These are sensitivity adjustments. The closer you go towards the arm, or towards the, uh, uh, the governor shaft, the more sensitive it is. The further you go out, the less sensitive it is. So the standard placement is five holes from, from the shaft. So one, two, three, four, five. There it is. And that on this unit is hooked to this shaft here. And I marked where that one was, a little dot. So my throttle cable will be coming in here. And we'll pull on this dude here. And that applies tension to the governor assembly. Quite a bit of tension. Okay. So that's the overview of the assembly. It's pretty simple. The adjustment is done out here. You can adjust for wide open throttle to sync the governor to the carburetor. Uh, so we'll go over uh, adjusting this. It's pretty simple. And then we'll go over the technical service bulletin. Uh, number 246, Kohler's Technical Service Bulletin, which if you've ever done any research on the mags, you know that governor failure is one of the, the leading causes of, of terminal failure in the magnums. They will, the, the gears inside will grenade. Sometimes they just go. They're plastic, and I can actually show you real quick. I'll take this out. You can look down in here and see the governor gear. So down inside there... That's the governor gear. And uh, there's a cross shaft that runs across here and some flyweights. And that gear has some flyweights hooked to it and a, a pin that the flyweights ride on. So when centrifugal force changes here, the weights either come in or out and they push a pin, which moves the governor arm back and forth. A full description of the governor is in the service manual so or I'm not going to so I'm not going to go over that in depth but if you want to know what the condition of your governor shaft is you can look inside here or your governor gear I guess boy this thing's got some good compression I can barely turn it over okay so anyway sometimes these gears will just shatter and grenade look they're gone another problem is that this shaft here will walk and pop out and you know they got it low they got like a little spring loaded like washer type thing I don't even know what those are called you got one of these at the end of the shaft here but they had problems with them moving I'm guessing that the, the expansion rate of the aluminum versus the steel is like case hardened steel piece right here the expansion rates are different and so this bore loosens up this this bore opens up and the clearance between the clearance fit here changes and it just can't hold on to it tightly anymore <clears throat> so in the technical service bulletin uh, we'll get to that here in a minute they recommend that you drill through the case and into the pin and uh, or into the shaft and then install a roll pin. And I did it with a machine screw and I tapped it just to make it easier to take in and out. And we'll go over that here in a minute, but that's why that looks the way it does. So we'll adjust the governor first. To adjust the governor, you take your throttle shaft and you move it in a wide open throttle and make sure that the governor arm here is pushed as far as it can towards full throttle. So. I'm sorry, pulled this way as far as it can be towards full throttle. 
So when you're moving this arm here, it's going to try to move this shaft. So this is this has been loosened up right here. I've got this nut loose. Um, so now the shaft and the arm are moving independently. So we'll take a pair of pliers and we'll grab the top of that shaft and with the carburetor linkage that's connected to the arm at full throttle, we'll turn this pin clockwise as far as it'll go. That's as far as it'll go. And then we'll tighten this nut right here. And now, now we're synced. So now this shaft is clamped tight here, and that should be in adjustment range. So again, full throttle, which on this model looks like this, pushes this arm as far away from the carburetor as it can go, like that, pushes it that way. I'm actually hitting the stop right here, holding it tight. Turn this clockwise, like this, so rotate it as if you're trying to tighten it, but when it stops, hold it there, and tighten this down until it clamps it tight. The Technical Service Bulletin wants you to drill about 285 thousandths deep from this face into this shaft and you're drilling kind of at an angle like drilling at an angle like that so they recommend an eighth inch or a three thirty seconds drill bit you're going to be drilling through a case hardened shaft so you want to use something that will actually grab that like cobalt or carbide and actually penetrate the case hardened shaft and then they recommend that you install a roll pin. It's either three quarters or seven eighths long roll pin into here to pin this in place. I just ran in a number eight machine screw and tapped it and ran some Loctite around the thread so it doesn't back out. Uh, they also recommend that you put Loctite in when you, when you put in the roll pin. So if you haven't done this to your Magnum, you should do it now because chances are either this is going to go, and I guess the governor going inside internally and just going is not anything you can prepare for, but this scenario here you can prepare for. So that's about it. Not a lot to the governor system. It works just like the K-series governors do. They're pretty simple. Now that we've got our linkages set up and the governor attached, the governor modification done, we can move forward to basically populating the rest of the engine. We'll go ahead and put the flywheel and the stator and the coil and everything on the on the front of the motor. And um, we're one step closer to having a, a real engine again. So hopefully this helps and we'll be back with the next phase.